Good evening everyone. I am OBF, this here is Rage, and this is Mumbai. Okay, so today's vlog is about the recent RTO safety rally that took place in Mumbai, which was also called a Guinness Book of World Record attempt. Um, and it was an attempt for the largest gathering of two wheelers for a safety rally. Now, for those of you who already attended the event, I think it was a success, so I'll break that suspense for you. We did manage to um, beat the previous record, which was set by Argentina, but just by a little bit. And I'll share details about that a little later in this vlog. For those of you who initially messaged me about the event, I was not supposed to show up for it. And I had initially planned on doing a ride with some of my buddies because I didn't feel that an uh, event of this magnitude could be organized that well. So yeah, initially I was not supposed to attend the event, but another group of bikers who I have done a few rides with called the Brotherhood of Tourers got in touch with me and informed me that they'll be doing a seminar on road safety and they asked me if I could join them because apart from speaking at the seminar they were also going to ride along with a few students from the different colleges we'll be conducting the seminar at and their plan was to take them along with them for the RTO road safety rally so in my mind I'm thinking hey this can't be too bad right I'm getting to promote safety on a Saturday and I'm getting to ride and maybe show some of the younger people in Mumbai how it's done amongst a group of decently good bikers who are well equipped and who are sensible so we did the seminar on Saturday and we were supposed to head over to Bandra Kulla complex that was the meeting point for the event and when we reached the event the next day we were close to about 25 bikes in that group but seeing the crowd that was assembled over there and, and when I say seeing the crowd, I'm talking about not just the size of the crowd over there but also the way things were organized or the lack of organization, if you want to call it that. Um, that's what caused the group which I ride with to kind of back off and say, hey, you know what, I don't think this is going to be safe enough for everyone. We might as well get the hell out of here and do a breakfast ride or something. And now I was caught in a dilemma because I had initially not planned on going for it. Then I showed up at the event and then I messaged people or I posted on my Facebook page that I'll be at the event and do come over and say hi if you want to. And it was too late for me to back out because I don't think that's fair that I've convinced people to come for the rally and then I myself am not showing up. So I said, what the hell, I'll stick around. I stuck around with a few other friends, um, met another friend of mine who owns the store where I got these handle grips and the tank pad and fuel cap from as well. And we decided to go ahead with it. For me, it was, it was still a, a good event because I got to meet a lot of my subscribers at the event. But to say that the ride was promoting safety was a lie. Because while it did meet all of the check boxes, I don't completely agree that it was successful in promoting safety. I think we got the record, but I don't think we promoted safety that day. Yeah, so things started to go from okay to bad at this point. And I still kept my hopes up high because I knew some of the bikers who were organizing this event. I know a few of them through Facebook as well, and they're really nice people and they do a lot of rides for social causes as well and I was thinking you know what the hell I'll stick around and 
the longer I stuck around, the more I started to regret it. Right from the start, and I'm going to upload a video on that later this week. Um, we never really knew where the starting point was. I mean, we knew where to get out from the the initial event meetup spot from, but we never knew where the line or the formation started from, and we never knew where it ended. So you'll see in this in my video that we started off being bottlenecked at the entrance of the venue and we just about managed to squeeze out of there I think the way it was advertised as well had a lot to do with the event being unorganized so the way it was advertised was hey we are attempting a Guinness World Record there's going to be about six or seven different celebrities riding with us do come in and join us and when you publicize your event in that manner the real bikers would come would show some interest but then you'd have a lot of people just coming to see these celebrities who really don't ride motorcycles and that's where that risk starts to come from so it's better in my opinion to just invite enough biking groups to have an organized event and let them total up to the record breaking number instead of doing a full on balls out publicity stunt and trying to get more people to attend the event to beat that record and claim fame because that's what happened eventually when we started the event I think for the first 10 or 15 seconds of the ride I think there was a formation of two but after that shit hit the ceiling and I think there was at one point close to 12 bikes lined up side by side heading down the highway at a speed of 60 kilometers an hour on an average and that's risky that is risky considering there were close to about 8,000 bikes at BKC that left the venue and you were riding in that bigger group one mistake could have cost us all a lot and I'd rather have a smaller group riding with me and still getting the record than having a big ass publicity stunt kind of group and not managing to achieve what we were set out to in the first place which is promoting safety now I don't know about your thoughts on it holy f a Lambo in metallic purple I don't think the camera would have caught that and don't get me wrong both our Mumbai police and the bikers that organized this event were really good with what they did but I think it was just the, the number of bikers or rather non-bikers what the hell is this guy doing? hell but I guess it was just the number of bikers and non-bikers, squids if you want to call them that that were gathered that just made this so hard to manage irrespective of what kind of manpower you had available at your disposal then again owing to the way the event was advertised the celebrities riding up front I guess all of these people who never really came there for the event went ahead started overtaking from all over the bloody place and could have caused a lot of problems now, I've heard stories that there was a Benelli which met with an accident at the back of the pack somewhere I don't know how far that's true because I have not myself seen any pictures of the incident so I'm not going to say that that's true or not but irrespective I think it was really unsafe for us to be riding in that bigger group in that wider formation and at those speeds so the essence of the rally, the purpose of that rally was lost. If safety is what we wanted to promote, I don't think we did it that day. And when we reached the event, I saw a few of the celebrities who were riding up front complain to the organizers about the way it was marshaled from point A to point B. Point A being BKC and point B being um, some place in Goregao, I forgot the name of the place. And they were very right in doing so but 
they were partially the cause of that entire problem as well. And uh, when we reached the event, I thought everything would be fine from here onwards. But boy, was I mistaken. Because it was a attempt for the Guinness uh, Book of World Records, there had to be a half an hour speech on road safety delivered by someone to the entire audience that was gathered over there. And I don't know the name of the person, but he was a high-ranking official in the Mumbai police. He spoke really well and he read a speech around statistics and why safety is important for the entire half an hour. Now this would have been great, but he read the same speech for that entire half an hour about five times over. And that's where we started to get restless. But hey, it was an attempt at the Guinness World Record, right? So we had to sit our asses down and listen. And in the meantime, there were Guinness officials who were going around and counting how many people were gathered. Now, this would have been fine if we all gathered there and this half an hour speech started immediately. Unfortunately, the half an hour speech started after a couple of hours. After a couple of hours of celebrities getting on stage promoting their music videos, talking about their TV shows, singing songs, I don't know why. And then we got around to the Guinness officials. Now I'm sure there's some reasonable explanation of why all of these sideshow bobs got on stage before the actual event got started, but I haven't heard a decent explanation of it till now. And I think the only consolation for us was that there were some kind of refreshments available while we were waiting for those two hours. After the half an hour speech, we had to wait another hour or so until the Guinness officials were done tallying the number of people that were present. And after that only did they declare that we beat the previous world record. Now, statistics the previous world record was 2,119 motorcycles and that was held by Argentina. We had 8,000 bikes from what I hear assembled at the starting point which was Banda Kurla complex. But because of the way it was delayed at Goregao, we eventually ended up having 2,168 motorcycles and bikers present at the destination. And that's sad. Considering we could have crashed that previous record, considering we're one of the world's largest users of two wheelers, I think we should have really beaten that record hands down, but we just about made it. Again, it was a great effort by both the Mumbai police and our biking community as a whole. But I think the entire event could have been managed and organized and advertised a lot better. And that's where we lost out. Next thing I noticed is that when the event was done, we collected our medals. Yeah, weird ass medals. And we collected our certificates and we were getting out of there. And there were a lot of bikers who had their helmets around their arms who had them hanging off their mirrors, who had them strapped to the back seat. And if you're hosting a rally for road safety, I think the event itself was a failure if you have people riding away after that event like that. So, yes, we are the people who hold the record for the most number of people riding to the rally and assembling over there. But does that make us the safest country to ride two wheelers in? I think not. I tell you what record I want us to have. I want us to hold the record for the least amount of accidents in a year or the least number of traffic violations in a year. That's when I say yes we've made some kind of progress because until then we're just kidding ourselves saying that we have that Guinness World Record where we had so many people attend a safety rally but no one really got the message. Again, like I said earlier, I was happy with the event, apart from the horror that was 
the actual ride and the event, I got to meet a lot of my subscribers over there. And I was truly humbled by the kind of stories they shared with me and uh, the inspiration they gave me basically to continue doing what I'm doing. And I'm very thankful to each and every one of you who I met there and each and every one of you who messages me on my Facebook page and on Instagram and through YouTube also. And I try not to be a jackass and respond to each and every one of your messages and comments but I've just got two hands, one keyboard and one mind to think about what I want to say. So please forgive me if I have not responded to your comments. I'll try and get around to them as quickly as I can. Lastly, if any one of you have been to the event, please share your thoughts and your views as well on what happened that day. If you agree with me, go ahead and, and share that with me in the comment section. If you do not as well, please let's have a discussion about it in the comment section. Um, and in case you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching my video and for your support. Do remember, don't just worry about the records. Go out there and promote safety yourself as well. Always wear a helmet and make sure that your pillion is wearing a helmet as well. And ride safe. It's a freaking jungle out here. Good bye.